Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 155. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Magic Tricks 155 to 167. Hey, truck trick 155. We have a data dump here from a database. And then over here, we have our records. And all we want to do is we want to do some sort of reconciling, which means we need to pull the customer and the sales for each transaction ID from the data dump. So if I make this a little smaller here, you can see both sides. And our goal is just to simply use VLOOKUP to uh, pull the customer and the sales record data and plump it here. And then we do whatever we do to verify it. So let's go ahead and try the VLOOKUP, and we're going to run into a problem that happens with data dumps. Because it looks like the data here is the same as here. Now, um, we can just skip to the chase. And uh, when you get data dumps like this, sometimes you have to hunt, to hunt around and find it. But we can click right there. I hit F2. Look, that looks OK. And then I'm going to click here and hit F2. And oops, there it is. Our records have these spaces. Now these spaces could have come from uh, our, uh, our data dump or our accounting system or uh, typing errors when you uh, did data entry. So there's an easy way to get rid of all the spaces. But let's just go ahead and try and do our VLOOKUP and, and see what happens. It's always a little dis disconcerting when you do this and it doesn't work. Equals VLOOKUP. And this is what I'm going to look up right here. And I have two columns, so I'm going to hit my F4 key three times. So I'm lock the column, but not the row. And then I'm going to hit comma and go over and get my table. Now for us, the first column for VLOOKUP is going to be this. So I'm going to highlight this whole range here and hit the F4 key. What's great about hitting the F4 key is it locks it, which we need here, and also brings the screen back in view. Comma, now the column index, we're going to need uh, 2 and 3. Now there's lots of ways we could do this. We could type in a 2, type in a 3, all sorts of ways. I'm going to do it this way. Columns. And I'm going to say I'm sitting in cell I5. So I'm going to type a dollar sign I dollar sign 5. Oh, 15 colon I15, close parentheses. Now columns, as we copy it over this way, right now it's a, how many columns do we have between this cell and this cell? Well, there's only one. And when we move it over here, this one will be locked, but this one won't. So it'll expand across two columns. So in this column, we'll deliver one. In this column, it will deliver a two. But I'm going to add one, because what we really need is a two and a three. Comma, and then VLOOKUP, we're looking up a word, so we need exact match, which is false or zero. All right, now I'm going to control enter, and sure enough, it's not available. And the reason why is because this is not the same on our side because of our spaces as this. Now, in, in this example, the error comes from our side, but a lot of times it comes from the other side, too. Well, OK, so we examined it. We think we found the problem, which is a bunch of spaces. So I'm going to hit F2 right here. And then I'm going to, around this cell reference, put trim. Trim. This is a function that gives you a haircut. No, no, no. It actually puts you on a diet. You just uh, tell it how much you want to weigh. And sure enough, no, no, no. It gets rid of all the spaces, except for single spaces between words. So now, if that should do it, Control Enter. And sure enough, it does. Now we have our records. Whoops. Now we have our records, and we could do some sort of true, false, or whatever. But the, the point of this video was just to see how to use the trim and the VLOOKUP. Now I've done, we've used this a couple other videos where we had data dump troubles. Another video was uh, using it for a pivot table. All right, so that's how to use the trim and VLOOKUP. See you next trick.